Oh, hello. Sorry if this is a little traumatic for anybody, but I have COVID so Carly and I are filming still apart. I feel totally fine and normal, but obviously out of an abundance of caution, we will not be filming together. That is why we didn't post on Friday. Um, we did post a bonus video over on Patreon on Friday, so if you're like lacking in the content department, there is a video there. We're also filming our podcast apart again today. We filmed apart last week because that is when I tested positive. I won't bore you with any COVID details here because I'm sure we will get into it on the podcast today. Uh, so make sure that you watch that when that comes out today on Patreon. Well, yesterday on Patreon and then tomorrow on YouTube. I made an English muffin with some butter and jam and a little tea. Oh my God, Whitey. <laughs> Every morning, Paris is like such a sunspot baby. She loves sitting in sunspots. And every day I've been putting like a little blanket down for her in this, <laughs> in this sunspot that comes into our living room. And like five minutes ago, she was sitting by the window, like in the, the tiniest fun spot because I hadn't opened the blind yet. I opened the window for her, I moved the blanket into the sun, and then, and then Whitey came inside and this happened. Paris literally like stood up and was like, mom, why is she near me? And then Paris inevitably moved because Whitey got too close to her and now this is Whitey. <laughs> She's never done this before. Is that your sunspot now? <laughs> and then Paris. <laughs> you got this little spot? <laughs> Hi! Why don't you sit with her? Go sit with Whitey. <laughs> She's like, this will do, it's fine. <laughs> Whitey, I love you, you are the queen of the house. <laughs> Whitey's never inside, she just sits outside, so it's funny that she's in here. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and uh take it away carly good morning my friends and family really have not vlogged like this in a hot minute so forgive me if i'm rusty i don't even know where to put this camera oh, no one woke up before me he's actually out right now he's been like low-key getting these modeling shoots <laughs> and the only reason i'm laughing is just because it's like very random but it's pretty cool um so he's doing that he made coffee when he woke up um but clearly he i think this might be enough for me though i will have to microwave it which kind of gives me the ick but what else can I do? I don't want to waste it. Also, look how cute this set is. It's from Mayfair. They sent it a couple days ago, and I've been wearing it ever since. I've probably been wearing it for two or three days, and yes, I'm going to wash it. Mm. Probably not today, but I'm going to like not wear this today, so if anyone's worried. Also, here's my kitten. <laughs> if anyone needed an update, she is probably almost a year old in a couple months. What? Oh, you're cute. She sleeps with us now. She kind of lays um, around my legs at night when we sleep. And it's funny because she's not like the most people friendly cat. She likes to be around people, but she's kind of weird about petting her. Like right now she'll let me. But um, if I, <laughs> if I like walk towards her, she'll kind of like scurry. But what I do like about her is when people come over, she doesn't like run and hide. She's always around them. She's just a little bit like, mm. and of course here's Frank, my big donut cat. Bub. So my hair has faded a little bit. I, when I first, I need to wash it. It's like getting kind of greasy. Obviously um, you saw the hair dyeing video. And if you haven't, go watch it. Um, it was probably posted like two weeks ago. Um, but my hair was like literally black. And I kind of got used to it. I kind of liked it. Um, but now that it's fading into a, a more dark brown, I still like it too. I have this routine every like November, December, I usually always get like the vanilla coffee mate and drink it in my coffee and it gives me like nostalgia. I don't know, I just have always done that. Or at least when I've been drinking hot coffee is to, to drink the coffee mate in like November, December, but I've just, I'm just still drinking it. <laughs> it's so good. Like yes, the oat milk is good, almond like blah blah blah, but like this sh is good. Don't really have much planned today. We are doing the podcast at some point. And obviously it will be a part because Aaron does have COVID. So we'll just have to film ourselves and record audio on Zoom. It's like a whole thing. And then she sends me her videos and I put them together. This is giving 2020. <laughs> it's like vlogging at home. I guess early 2021 as well. Probably should take a shower before I do the podcast just because I feel gross and like I want my hair to be clean. So it's probably my next move. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> So fucking bored. Look oh at this lighting's terrible. I am so bored. We have been in our house since 
Tuesday of last week, so about a week now. The only time I left was to go get a PCR test last Thursday. And even still, just went into a doctor's office. So, nothing exciting. I just wanna go to Starbucks. <laughs> I just wanna go to, like, literally do like a mundane thing. That's not even like, I don't wanna go to the mall and go shopping. Like, I literally just wanna walk into a store and get a coffee. That's like, what? No, I can't. No. Yes, it's been over five days and your symptoms have subsided or are resolving. So according to the CDC, if you wear a mask the whole time, you're free. Really? It's been over five days. It ha That is true. And your symptoms are resolving, so you are free. <laughs> wow, I can't believe TJ is a doctor. It's all so confusing now, by the way. Like my doctor, or the doctor, when I went to get a COVID test, he was like, okay, after five days, you can go out into the world if like you don't have any symptoms, and if not, like quarantine for five more days. Um, but T TJ said, if your symptoms are going away, then you can. So what's the truth? What's the truth? I just wanna go out into the world. I wanna film our podcast in real life today. I think maybe I'll take a COVID test tomorrow just to see if it's negative. I literally feel completely normal and fine. I just still have, like I'm not even congested. See, I can breathe, but I still sound funny. Like I still have post nasal drip, but I'm constantly like that. But I know that like this one is more COVID-y, is definitely COVID-y because I have COVID. Um, just weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, so I, Went through our emails, my emails. Uh, I did the today's podcast stuff for Carly and I, and then I uh, sat on the couch and watched a few episodes of Downton Abbey. That is my like new binge. I have this giant pile of laundry though that I need to fold and put away. So I'll do that. But I think I really wanna make a grilled cheese right now. I've made a grilled cheese every single day that we've been here. But like put a little t turkey in it too and it's just been mwah, divine. Where's the mayonnaise? If I don't have bread, I'm literally gonna start sobbing. I will cry. <laughs> we have bread. Oh, a fresh bag of bread. Can you tell? I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna show you guys making this grilled cheese. My hair is just like, whatever. <laughs> um, because this is like a fun little hack. I don't know if it's like an actual hack, but this is what we do in the Petraka household. I feel like we saw this on TikTok. So typically with a grilled cheese, I feel like most people put like butter on either side, you know, to get it like, crispy and golden. However, we put mayonnaise on the bread. It has been like an ultimate, just like upgrade. Get it nice and uh, mayo-y. So funny, I've been eating grilled cheeses and TJ's just been making like at-home ramen every day. We're truly uh, health queens. Okay, she's done. Also, while I was waiting for this to cook, I folded that pile of laundry that I showed you guys, and that is that on multitasking. This is what she looks like. In my opinion, that is like my perfect grilled cheese. Listen to this cut. Let's see if we can get the cut. I think I'm gonna eat this, put all these away, or I'll eat this while I watch Downton Abbey and then put all of these away. And then, I think it'll be time to podcast. Hey guys, we just wanna take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Casetify. You guys know we love Casetify, literally like stand harder than anything in the world. And I'm so excited to tell you all about their compostable cases. They are made with Ecotify, which is Casetify's blend of biopolymers, starch, and bamboo. Each case breaks down into carbon dioxide, water, and other naturally occurring minerals that just mix back into the earth. So there are no toxins left behind. Casetify's compostable cases are drop test approved for up to four feet. And their ultra compostable cases have four extra 
extra corners for shock absorption like this. They have the four corners right here and are drop test approved for up to 6.6 .6 feet. Honestly, this has saved my life probably over a hundred times in the last six months. We all know that Casetify carries a huge selection of cases so you can pick your own print or you can add a custom text. I got these cute cases, this like scratch and sniff print, which I just think is adorable and like 90s kids would know. And then I customize another case that just is like this freckled with um, my initials. Another thing that's also very cool about the compostable cases is that they are made of all non-toxic, eco-friendly ink that is actually made of soybeans. The compostable cases are much better for the planet and they've partnered with earthday.org. So every compostable case sold, one tree is planted. So far they've planted over 165,000 trees and their mission is to plant 7.8 billion trees worldwide so make sure you get yourself a case. Go to casetify.com slash Carly and Erin get yourself a nice protective environmentally friendly phone case and you'll get 15% off. Okay so I showered clearly. Put a little bit of makeup on to make me look like a normal human being. I still need to put mascara on but I wanted to show you something I've been using which isn't that crazy because like everyone has one now but I got the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> a couple months ago and I have been really loving it. The one you see on TikTok normally is the barrels that curl your hair and I've used it once and I really liked it. I think it looked really good. I'll definitely use it again. I think more so if I have somewhere to go that's, you know, I want to get like cute for. I, for the most part, just use the round brush. But I think especially with my hair so dark, the first couple of weeks, it literally, like you saw, looked jet black. And I didn't want my hair just completely straight because to me, I just looked kind of crazy. I think it's kind of just the shock after dyeing my hair from blonde to really dark. I think it's going to be a shock either way but um, I've been using this just to give it some sort of texture and like round out the end. I feel like it just looks a little bit more put together than just having it straight. And I probably wouldn't have done this today, but since I'm filming daily vlog, I might as well. Oh, and I'm filming a podcast, so like might as well try to look cute for you that. You know, sometimes I'll do sections and like really get in there, but I think today I'm just gonna do like a half ass job. So it looks like I did something, but nothing too crazy. Okay, well this is a very brief style that sometimes I've been doing. Just so I look a little bit more put together. Here is the podcast setup. <laughs> this desk is really messy, but um, Aaron and I both have these little blue microphones. So when we're apart, we have good audio, even though it's through Zoom. I know that sounds like really bad, but recording audio through Zoom with these mics is actually pretty good. Obviously not as good as like being together with microphones, but you know, we'll take what we can get. So what we do is we'll zoom so we can see each other and record audio and then we film on our cameras at the same time. So it's kind of a whole process. It's not as confusing as it may sound, but we're gonna record the podcast. So I will come back after, and obviously I have to use this camera to film myself. So check in later. Okay, we're about to do the podcast. I'm just gonna get ready real quick. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna just set up. Hello, baby. Hello, Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> That's what we call each other. It's a real kink. Why are my headphones? Okay, so basically when we film the podcasts apart, probably just sends over a Zoom link. Oh, she just sent it. Let's see what this little bish is up to. Hello. Hello. She quote tweeted the LA Times. Stop. Um, our messy article. queen is back. Yes, she tweeted and she goes, at Damon Auburn, I was such a big fan of yours until I saw this. I write <gasps> all of my own songs. Your hot take is completely false and so damaging. You don't have to like my songs, but it's really fucked up to try and discredit my writing. <gasps> wow. And oh then God. and then she replied to that tweet and goes, P.S. <laughs> I wrote this tweet all by myself in case you were wondering. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We've got TJ on the ones and twos. Oh yeah. He made my favorite meal, honey garlic chicken over a bed of rice. Yum. He makes it in the Instapot and it is truly just like my favorite meal that he makes ever. It's very easy. It couldn't, oh careful. <laughs> it is much later, like maybe 7 p.m. now. I have done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
did leave the house though, but only to go outside. I just walked Paris and I wasn't near anybody and I brought a mask just in case. I walked her and then I just watched Downton Abbey. Who's Abby? I don't know yet. <laughs> we just watched the first episode of The Americans. That is the next show that we're gonna be starting. Honestly, so far I like it. I'm a little confused, <laughs> but I think it's good. What are your thoughts yeah, so far? Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> so I like half watched it though, cause I was cooking, but it's good. You still probably understood more than I did. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I do, but I don't. We're gonna eat. Joe that. is coming by and we're gonna do an eating video, which I'm very excited for because I'm very hungry. And so now I'm just waiting for that. Aaron's footage will take like 40 minutes to download, so I'll just have that going while I do other stuff. And then I can finally put it together and then upload it to Patreon right away because they get it first. They actually get it two to three days early, which is, I don't know, in my opinion, really early <laughs> for a podcast. Um, okay, I'm gonna go see if Joe's here. Thank you. No! <laughs> That's good. Should I get in? Yeah. How are you moving the car? No, you climb in. The doors don't work. Huh? Doors don't work. Should I climb in through the window? Yeah, obviously. No, seriously, the doors don't work. Yes, they work. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I'm not kidding. It got stuck. How? Because. You're lying to me. Where is the lock Can even? you please climb? Oh, there it is. I fixed it. Wow. Thanks, Carly. <laughs> We're daily vlogging, so. Are you? This is a part of my... My day, this lighting is really bad here. Look at me, decked out. I got Cute. merch. They actually have really good merch. Yeah, and I like- a really sick crew. Well, they also stole the entire logo from something. Of course they did. It's literally, it's like a replica of like a show or a movie. It looks really familiar. Yeah, Maybe it's like- Maybe that's why I like it so much. It's a really popular movie. It's like Seinfeld or something. They are not original. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like everyone just does that though. Yeah. Like is anyone's really original? No. You know Lightweights? Like the podcast? Oh, stole it from no, me. It's not. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, but yes, I've listened to your podcast many times. No, you haven't. I have. No, you haven't. I have. Do you want me on it? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let Joe film, but we're gonna do a, a muk. Oh, what do you say, mukbang? A mukbang. A mukbang, and it's Chick Fil A, and I'm very excited. Oh, I'm you should have just so bought starving. it, and I should have Venmoed you. Yeah, I thought that, and I was like, I'll just let him get it. It's a write-off. <laughs> well, no, 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 but I would have paid you. Why? Because you could use all your gift cards. That's true. I actually didn't really think about it until like right I was now. walking to the car. It's, so. I'm so confused who you are with this new hair color. I know, so am I. I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9 p.m. We were just on the couch and I genuinely was like, it's probably bedtime by now. Like I'm exhausted. And it was only nine. We normally get into bed at like 10.30. Oh God, the like bridge of my nose hurts. When I go down like this, oof. That's gotta be a sinus thing, right? It's like legitimately pulsates when I go down like that. It's been hurting me like that for like a little bit of today. So if anyone knows what that is, that is so weird. Yeah, when I, oh, when I bend over like that, it just like pulsates. We are just really tired today. Um, and I just wanna get into bed, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then watch some TikToks. That is all that I want to do. <laughs> no, you'll be okay. I haven't worked out in so long. I haven't worked out in the whole new year pretty much. Yeah, we went skiing. Yeah, because that's, that's all we've been doing. That's like a really good workout. Cardio, legs, I've abs. I've done two Peloton rides this year. <laughs> you yeah, were skiing. You skied for like three weeks straight. Yeah, and then I got <laughs> Wish I had something of interest to tell you, but I basically just we talked about everything uh, in our life on the podcast today. So make sure that you guys listen to that. Um, it's up on Patreon right now, and if you're not a, a patron, it'll be up tomorrow. So you'll get some more content tomorrow. Hopefully Carly and I will be back to filming together for Friday, but unsure. <laughs> Obviously just wanna like be as safe as I can. I'm probably gonna take a test like tomorrow or Wednesday just to like see where we're at, but I don't know. 
Everything is so weird now. I just don't know what the truth is. Okay, I finally put our podcast together. It's going on Patreon. It takes so long to upload to Patreon for some reason. We're gonna watch Euphoria. Should we get wine? I'd... Oh. <laughs> I knew you were gonna react. Yeah. He said, oh. I feel like a lot of daily vlogs last year, we had wine. And I think it's because we. I usually filmed them on Saturday. Yeah, and then we'd always want to, like, do something, so we'd be like, let's get a follow-up. Yeah, and, like, obviously then it was, like, we weren't really going anywhere, like, seeing people, so it was really our only, like, fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. And we really don't get natural wine that often anymore. Like, maybe once a no. month. Yeah, I never, like, wanting it anymore. I feel like I'm never, like, I know. craving, like, ah, I'm gonna go get, like, a bottle anymore. Yeah, but... Except for when you got those one glasses. Oh yeah, I got really cool glasses. They're just from Amazon. I'll show you guys once we get the wine, but I feel like so many influencers have them. I think that's where I saw them. But should I just feed the cats now? Yeah. Let's see if they run downstairs when I yell. Kitties, dinner's time us. Dinner's time us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many meows. Her meow is so tiny. It's like yeah, it's literally. And strange. I wonder if it'll ever evolve into. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get um, our wine. This is the one I wanted to get. I feel like we should just get this one because it's my last name and For it's sure. delicious. Okay, these are the glasses I was talking about. I will put them in the description because people love them, including me. That looks so pretty. Yeah, that does. Also, we can you show it to the friend? We ended up getting a different. Well, we got the Encontro, but then we saw this one. It just looked really cool. Oh my god. So we'll save Encontro for another day. So nice. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Cheers. Ooh. Breaks. Whoa. Sour. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. It's really good. Can't go wrong with an orange bubbly. Okay, well, we're gonna watch Euphoria. I'm very excited. That, my friends, is my daily vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye. The biggest thing about Taylor Swift is she writes all of her own music. But also, it's just like, who gives a shit if she doesn't? Like, I know. She's a collaborator. She puts on a show. Just say you're jealous, David. I know. No, literally. Like, all the replies were like, he finished before he even began. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. What a loser.